Hi everybody, welcome back to OC Everywhere. Today we've got a couple of new birds in the bird room and they are four amazing, very rare mules and hybrids to introduce you to. They are absolutely stunning birds. So that's gonna be today's episode. It's the first time we'll have ever had the chance to have a real close look and appreciation of these different hybrid species. So I hope you enjoy it. So this is the first hybrid we're going to look at today. I can't pick my favourite out from the four at the moment. So I just thought we'll start here uh, and it's a great one to start with. So this here is a flighted male green finch cross chaffinch hybrid. Now, if you're in the hobby and you know about this hybrid, it is a very hard hybrid to breed. Uh, you have to breed it with a green finch cock to a chaffinch hen. The chaffinch cock can't breed with anything other than a female chaffinch or a female brambling. So you have to go with the green finch cock and chaffy hen. But the green finch cock isn't always as willing to hybridize as others. So it is a very difficult one to breed. I've got some friends who have spent many years trying to breed this hybrid. They've had full eggs, but they've yet to get some success. But this is an absolutely stunning bird. You don't see an awful lot of them on the show bench. You might see one or two a season if you're lucky. Uh, and most of the time, it's going to be repeats of the same bird at different shows. So they are quite a rarity in the hobby. So what an absolutely stunning bird this is. So next up, this hybrid is probably the easiest one to produce that we're going to see today, but I would actually go as being more of the unusual ones because you don't see an awful lot of them about on the show bench and not an awful lot of them are bred either. So this is a European Linnet cock bred with a two-barred crossbill hen. So it's a Linnet cross two-bar crossbill hybrid. Now, I'd say the main reason that not a lot of these are bred is actually the two bar crossbills are quite a scarce bird. So that's one of the, the main things with this bird is they are quite unusual anyway, part of the parentage. Uh, but again, what a stunning bird this is. It's very settled down to say it's half linnet. That's very good. They are something that seem to be a little bit more flighty uh, and a little bit more timid around people. But this particular bird is doing absolutely excellent. And again, what a stunning hybrid this is. It's took the color very good. I would suggest this is probably a yellow bird, uh, but it, it looks fantastic either way. Uh, and maybe you guys will be seeing it on the show bench come this winter. So this right here is the most difficult bird to breed that you're going to see today and notoriously one of the most difficult hybrids ever to breed and it's particularly this bird it's a prime example of what you're after. So this is a red pole bullfinch hybrid. So this is a lesser red pole cock with a native bullfinch hen. You can't use a male bullfinch because they can't breed with anything other than a female bullfinch because the sperm morphology doesn't allow them to. But this is just the prime example. It's yellow feathered, it's a male, and it's completely healthy. And they're three things that are never given with mule and hybrids, but especially anything bred with a lesser red pole. Red poles seem to have a higher chance of having chicks with deformities. I've got one particular friend that bred this hybrid and had one with a crossed beak and a, a bit of a, a, a weird deformed toe. So it was no good, and sadly the bird uh, struggled to survive beyond juvenile stage. So this is just unbelievable. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, one of my overall all time favorite hybrids, especially we've tried breeding them for the past two breeding seasons. We've had three full eggs, but we're yet to get the success in actually getting one to hatch out, grow, make it to the sticks. But what an unbelievably nice bird this is. It's flighted, it's in its second year now, and they are a more short lived hybrid, only to about three years as well. 
So sadly, you know, this guy's probably about the mid-stage of his life now, even though he's only one and a half, two years old. But again, what an amazing bird that is. So last but certainly not least is probably the 21st century's most successful hybrid or mule species uh, across the show bench and that is the parrot crossbill mule. Now this is bred from of course the parrot crossbill. The parrot crossbill is the largest of the crossbill family in both overall shape and size but the beak size as well and a Norwich canary and the Norwich as we know is probably the largest of the canaries in both head size, body size, shape, feather quality and everything like that and that breeds a stunning bird just like this. Now this is a buff bird and it is flighted but that doesn't make it any less special. I'm sure this bird will be very successful on the show bench this coming season uh, and I can't help but admire it. What an amazing bird this is. And I'm very fortunate to be able to have one of these to, to admire like this. It is just unbelievable. Uh, they are quite difficult to breed, not as hard as the red pole bullfinch, but trying to get the crossover period between a parrot crossbill that will breed in February and March and a Norwich canary that's one of the later canaries in maybe May or June time, you've got to get that midpoint just right to breed one of these and they've obviously got it absolutely spot on to breed a bird like this. I will definitely be attempting some mule and hybrids next breeding season and seeing these four has really given me some food for thought as to exactly what we're going to be trying to breed. So if you'd like to see me attempt one of these hybrids or you've got something else in mind, then make sure to let me know in the comment section of this video. But anyway, that's it from me, everyone. If you've enjoyed it today and you'd like to see more from OC Avery, then please make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any more future content. Do smash a like on it as well if you've enjoyed it and make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for daily updates and behind the scenes footage of all of our birds now thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one take care